It was just announced today, new Tesla options confirmed for next year, 2023. New battery technology also confirmed and likely price decreases. Let's go into exactly what I mean in this video. So we're closing out the year and if you don't know, let's get right into it. The brand new confirmed standard range Model Y is going to be available for sale for sure in 2023 with Tesla filing with the EPA and getting approval for this brand new model. The big news with this new Model Y standard range is it will come with the 4680 battery, Tesla's proprietary most efficient battery, and that is again confirmed in the Model Y standard range, but there's more. So the real big news about these 4680 batteries is when are you expected to see these in Tesla's and when will you have that in your Model Y? Well, Elon said back on October 20th that we should see as we close out 2020 a significant portion of production being dedicated to outputting these 4680 batteries. So the estimated miles on this 4680 standard range Model Y is 279 miles with a price tag of around $60,000. Again, we saw this based on previous reports of it being sold only to employees. So if it's going to get a 4680 battery and Elon is saying that the end of the year production of 4680 is really gonna pick up, then what is the future of 4680 batteries and why should you wait for one? Why the big deal about these 4680 batteries and especially those in the Model Y? Remember, they're also going to be in the Cybertruck and they're the most efficient battery that Tesla will offer. And Elon says that the 4680 battery is finally gaining rapid traction on the 4680 battery cells. 4680 battery production has tripled Q3 of this year compared to last year. And the real takeaway is that this new, brand new technology under Tesla's leadership with the most efficiency and the best output for your car is coming closer to reality than ever. Speaking of the 4680, did you see this new leaked image of the Cybertruck's charging port? This new CyberFied charging port hit Twitter just recently, has a different logo than what we've been used to seeing under that charge port for the Tesla vehicles. Really, really cool, and I wanted to bring this up because the Cybertruck is on the production schedule. It has been moved and upgraded from production to tooling. And if you don't know, the Giga Press is now fully tested and going to be installed in Austin. So if you're thinking about the latest and greatest cars, including the Cybertruck for Tesla, and that 4680 battery, which it will rely on, that also is coming into production very, very soon with the full estimates being at the end of next year, 2023. There has been no delays, again, on the Cybertruck. There's been a lot of stories out there about potential delays that is still on track. As far as 4680 for the Cybertruck, Elon has gone as far as saying we don't anticipate this being any limiting factor for the Cybertruck or anything else. It's worth emphasizing we have enough 2170 cells to satisfy all vehicle production for the remainder of the year, so we're not dependent on 4680. 4680 will be important next year, but it is not important for this year, Musk said. Something you might be wondering here in the United States is will the prices of Teslas eventually come down? Well, with record demand right now and a very long backlog, logically it doesn't make sense that Tesla would lower prices if demand is so high. But there's some requirements from the EV tax credit that may cause vehicles like the Model 3 long range to be lowered in price. It is offline right now. You can't even order it. Will it come back online at 55,000? It's likely. Elon has said that Tesla will fully qualify for the EV tax credit. Now there's no guarantees that the price will come down, but if Teslas are gonna fully qualify, it is possible and I wanna point you to this. A pretty substantial price decrease in the China market for Tesla with increasing competition there with BYD and other competitors like Xping and NIO. Well, Tesla lowered prices and if you did not see this, it actually caused the website to crash. 
Seems like a lot of people would love to purchase a Tesla, but the price is one of the biggest obstacles for many. And as soon as Tesla lowered their price in China, they had so many orders that it really did crash the website. We've seen other competition uh, lose deliveries year over year as much as 40%. Would you order a Tesla if they lower the prices? I have a lot of people that I even work with that say that Tesla is their number one choice, but the price is just too high. What we can see here, competition like Neo and Xping have lost seven and a half to 40% respectively month to month in their deliveries. So as Tesla is becoming more and more popular and they lower prices, will we see an influx in the United States if those price decreases come here as well. So as we close out 2022, you have some new options. And by the way, with that brand new all-wheel drive Model Y in all Teslas, Elon did say that here domestically in the United States, we will have some brand new colors as well. If you were unaware, Berlin got two new colors, a cherry red and a quick silver gray or silver color, where Elon did confirm. So not only are we getting an all wheel drive model Y standard range, new colors are expected. More information on that EV tax credit. Cybertruck is on its way to full production end of next year. And will prices decrease? Time will tell. So what do you think about this new option? Are you going to go with the standard range Model Y with all wheel drive and the 4680 batteries? Let me know in the comment section below and your thoughts on possible price decreases. Are you gonna pull the trigger if Tesla lowers those prices? Well, let me know and also let me know if you enjoyed this content, of course, by dropping a like and subscribing for all of those updates as we close out the year on new vehicles and price changes. Again, this is Matt from Funk to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.